Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Welcome to a Sunday vlog. My days have been really weird lately. I recently was let go from my job of five years, which feels so weird to say even now. It's been like two weeks, mainly because I've never been let go from a job and it was not a very good situation. I wish I could say it was like a, oh, the company's not doing well, so they're laying people off. It was like a bad breakup, so. But I'm doing good. I basically started a home bakery business because it was something that I planned to do in the future anyways. I just never would have imagined it would have come this quick. I just, I didn't see myself at that job forever and I knew that one day I wanted to branch off and be on my own, but I was just kind of thrown into it, so here we are. But it's been really good lately, right out the gate I had plenty of support and orders and I was able to get my little setup going in the house. Um, there are of course certain rules I have to follow depending on the state that you're in whenever you run a home bakery business. So I've done a lot of research, got all my ducks in a row. I got my LLC. My business is called The Cake House because my last name is House and it's um kind of a play on words. It was, it was actually someone's idea on Facebook. I had asked people for their suggestions on what the name should be and that was, that was a big winner for sure. I just put my shoes on so I got a little bit taller. But it is currently Sunday morning and I'm about to head out to church. I'm gonna go meet my mom. And then I have a day jam-packed full of stuff that I need to do. I have a cake that I need to finish and I actually have to deliver it and then um, I need to do some king cakes and some cupcakes and it's gonna be a full day. I'm just kind of taking on any orders that I can so that I can make money so that I can pay my bills. I had this whole schedule planned for the month of January, February videos. I was working on a decluttering video that I really wanted to get done and I'm still gonna finish it, but I was definitely thrown for a loop and my main focus the last two weeks has just been trying to make money and trying to get this cake business off the ground running and it's been really good so far. I definitely have high hopes for the future and I'm really excited and it has been really nice um, being able to be home and but I'm still trying to get into the groove of things, make sure that I'm posting on social media to promote myself and still really want to keep up with YouTube so I'm making sure to post shorts, more shorts now, and um, at least one long form content video a week so let's just keep up that energy. <laughs> church it was really good as always that was actually a new year's resolution of mine was to go back to church it had been a long time since i had gone i was born and raised catholic and i was in the church all of my younger years and i stopped going as an adult but i um i made a new year's resolution to go back to church and do my daily devotionals and work on my relationship with God. So that is what I'm doing. I'm really happy with myself for sticking to it. And I really enjoy going. I go with my mom and my grandma every weekend. Normally we go on Saturdays at 4 p.m. But we weren't able to go yesterday. So we decided to just go to the early mass this morning at 8.30, which was 
a chore to get up for, I will say. I had to get up at 5.15 to get ready and then leave my house, drive to my mom's, and then we ride together. But now I need to run to the store and grab a couple of things and then get home and start working on... I have a cake that's due for a delivery at 1.30, so I need to finish that. And then I've got three king cakes that I need to make. I've got cupcakes that I need to make for tomorrow. And then another cake that I need to work on for tomorrow. And I don't have a Starbucks over where I live. It's like a 20 minute drive to the closest one. But since I'm on this side of the coast, I think I might stop by Starbucks over here and get myself something to drink. Okay, so <clears throat> I stopped and got an iced caramel macchiato from Starbucks. And then I went to Walmart. I had to get some cake drums and um, boxes for the king cakes that I'm going to be making today. So now it's time to head home. off that cake and I forgot to film like a um, overview of what it looked like at the end so I'm just gonna go ahead and insert a photo of it and um, it was really cute they loved it so my husband went with me we dropped that off and then had to go pick up a couple of orders for things for ingredients for this week so just got back home and I'm gonna get all of that put away and then I have to work on the king cakes and the cupcakes so and then we're going to be going to my mom's house for dinner so i have about two hours well less than two hours before we need to leave so i have a lot to do before we go i wanted to take this time and just do a voiceover to kind of explain what happened with my job i definitely did not see myself being let go it definitely blindsided me but i do understand why it happened I will never claim to be a perfect human. I know I have my faults, but I've always excelled at my jobs. I've always given 110%, never been one to call out, stayed late, went in early. I've always thought my work ethic was a strength of mine. I don't wanna to say too much on the subject of me losing my job, but I do know that I'm the type of person that wants to know the tea, let's be real. And the honest truth is that it was a small business very small staff and I became very, very close with the owner. I knew things that I probably shouldn't have. The owner called me her best friend. She was a bridesmaid in my wedding and we pretty much told each other everything. That is something I definitely don't recommend to anyone 
Becoming that close to someone that holds the fate of your job and your livelihood in their hands puts you at a vulnerability that I definitely don't want anyone else to bear. As friends do, we had disagreements over the years that ultimately led to me being let go. From outsiders looking in, I know that can be up for interpretation and publicly saying it lets anyone's opinions in, but I know in my heart what exactly happened and those close to me know exactly what happened. I'm not the type of person to publicly bash someone or wish someone failure or anything bad in life. Being let go from my job was definitely a blessing in disguise and the push I needed to do what I truly want to do in life and that honestly does not include working for someone else. I hope you all will join me on this journey and I'm so excited for the future. I appreciate you watching this little video of me trying to get my stuff together and I know that it's only up from here. Thank you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.